Hello, in this video we'll build a small application using TypeScript and React. We'll start from the ground up and we'll see that you don't need to create React app or any other boilerplate system to get going. My name is Florian Rappel, let's build it. So we'll start in the command line. Um, let's create a new uh, folder first, new React app, and also then just CD right into it. And what we will start with is a small NPM project. Now we need a couple of packages. We will use the parcel bundler for bundling. We obviously need TypeScript. We should install React and we need a couple of React dependencies um, like React Router or React Router DOM. And for all these React dependencies, we should install the type packages too. So that looks like a ton of packages, but in fact, it's quite lightweight and uh, uh, most of them are right now just um, typing packages. So let's just add it. Once we are done, we can open the Visual Studio Code Editor, which for me works in Windows, while the whole uh, solution is in um, the Linux subsystem for Windows. So let's just um, open Visual Studio Code. And let's have a look at the uh, package JSON first. Now, we should first sort the dependencies because we got some dev dependencies in here. So let's just do that. And all these packages should be in the dev dependency space. Now, a couple of scripts would be helpful. Now, I include a start script, uh, which will just run parcel on a file that we have not created yet. And same goes for a build command. We can have several others too, but these two should be sufficient to start with. Now, Let's create a new folder, call it source. Let's add an index HTML file to it. Let's scaffold this whole thing, call it react sample. We also add a diff where our app lives and a script that should point to the index TSX that I will just create now. All right, now what we going to write here is a small react app. So we just import it. We should also import from React DOM something. And we also will need something from the router DOM. So here we will, for instance, get all these um, special things and maybe a couple more. Same holds true for our render. Now, what we will try to write is we will create an app component. We want to render this and in the end, we will actually mount it in the app um, element. All right, now what's the app going to be defined? Let's just define it. Um, let's say it's our browser router. It's our top level component. And in here we will have some, some uh, the, the switch. And we will have a couple of routes defined. Maybe we should have a catch em all route. So let's have this. So the component should be a not found component that we have not created yet. And likewise, we will have a home page. And um, component should be the home. All right, looks good. Let's have the home. Maybe let's have a fragment here. Let's say it's home page. And um, let's have a link to some page and um, not found page. And the not found page we should design similar. And here we can go to back to the home page. Maybe let's add a, um, a design in the uh, browser router maybe. Um, we could also do it outside and say, oh, this, this will never be affected from any routing. We can do that. 
and let's say we have our header here and we put our slogan or something and of course similar we could have a footer with legal information or anything so that's about it let's just try to run it so npm start so it's running at the localhost port 1234 and um, once it's all done we can access it via the web browser so let's try that it's already finished so let's go here and this seems to be working and i got routing working too so that's great now i want also to build it i can just run npm run build and this thing starts and does everything and then we are done now the great thing about this approach is that it can scale with our application. We have not added anything that's not needed at this point in time. So it's already doing all that we want to wish for. Thanks for watching. Bye.